Day 48. Uh, so I got the uh, got the final coat on the I guess you call it a crown. Got that last night and it rained. And I came out while it was raining and it was it held. I mean it, it dried before it got rained on. So Maybe the next few hours before it starts raining again, it'll give, give it a chance to cure up a little bit more. So, I mean, it's not completely cured, but it's dry. Dry enough. Um, so the, the major part is done as far as getting coating on that and then now I have the uh, rest of this base mapped out and ready to cut these mulligans off and get that prepped. So what I'm going to do is cut these mullions then I'll clean the walls get them prepped before I put the before I put the trim in that way I can get all the dust and everything out of the way and it's not in the way I'm still undecided on wrapping that the brick so, <laughs> I'm going to have a weird compound miter here because of the way the, the, sh the shingles are. The sheeting, shingles, shiplap, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> It'll work out. I think this is going to be the best option for this because it was really fucked the other way and I want like I was saying I want to give it that extra barrier here for when water does get up here so I don't know I'm I'm really undecided I might just let it die right there have a transition or just yeah just have it die because I think if I do wrap it around I'm introducing more more issues I think that's yeah I'm better off if I just let it die on a flat and that'll be it that'll be a transition that I can live with and then just clean up this cough joint real real well Reseal it, retreat it. Thing is, the porch pitches in toward the house. For whatever fucking reason. So when water blows in, I mean, it has to be a pretty hard, consistent rain for it to blow in and get on the porch and, and sit. And then what it does, since the, uh, since the rock is treated, waterproofed it it pulls well and then it gets into the corner and where you have a corner with no expansion joint I forget you know you got concrete and block where everything shifts and moves you're never going to get a good seal and it's a temporary seal at best so my original thought was put a base down add an extra layer of seal but I think by doing that I'm just introducing more issues for myself so I know what I'm dealing with with this so I'll just do that so that gives me this little 14 foot chunk good days worth of work 
it's supposed to start raining here any second and storm until August. So, see what I can get into with that. Get these walls prepped. Do a little prepping on the uh, corner there. Who knows? I might get I might get a first coat on that. I mean, there's really no. I mean, there's not much on these on this wall. Peel off the flaky bits. Put the uh, the high build bonding peel stop. The Elmers. Stuff's great. It's like glue gets in there. It's, it's they call it triple thick, but it's not thicker than paint. But it's 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 triple thick bonding agent. You build on that, so that, that's cool. That'll, and it'll be a good day. It'll be a good day for progress. That's what I needed. I need some, I need some progress. And then, yeah, if I can get the, if I can get the peel stuff on this. I gotta move on down the road. That's cool. Depending on how the how hard the rain hits. See how this holds up. Get a couple corners to prep. If it doesn't rain too hard, too much, I might be off of this porch by the end of the week, by next weekend. Today's Monday, and I don't know when I'm going back to work yet, so I imagine I'll probably get a message here soon saying we're going back Thursday again, but, <coughs> and then our shift is going to start the following Monday or Sunday, I don't, I don't know which one it's going to be. But I'd rather start a whole week fresh instead of the middle of the week. Even though it's going to be raining all week. But. We'll skin that cat when it hatches. Alright. Well, I know what I'm doing. I just hope while I'm doing it, I don't <clears throat> unearth any unworldly demons that I'm going to have to tend to. <clears throat> Alright, fuck off. I got shit to do.